shapely calculates the area of a polygon using the so-called shoelace formula. This works by choosing an origin O and computing the areas of the triangles formed with each side of the polygon and O. For this polygon, the triangles OAE and OED encompass the entire thing plus some extra. The triangles OAB, OBC and OCD together give exactly this extra and by subtracting them from the sum of the encompassing ones, we're left with the area of the polygon. This process can be turned into algebra and it turns out that the area of any polygon is given by this formula. Deriving it isn't easy but have a go if you're feeling ambitious. To see why it's called the shoelace formula, consider a triangle with vertices 0, 0, 1, 0 and 1, 1. The formula above can be evaluated by writing the x and y coordinates as columns of a vector, repeating the first coordinate at the end to close the polygon. We then multiply the terms connected by diagonal lines and add the results. We do the same with the other diagonals. Then we take the absolute value of half the difference. The answer is one half as it should be, and the crossing diagonals are supposed to look like shoelaces, which give the formula its name. As we discussed before, latitude and longitude are coordinates on the globe, not the plane. This area formula is for areas in the plane, and so shouldn't be directly applied to latitude longitude data. If we want to know the area of a spatial polygon, we first have to transform the coordinates to a flat representation which preserves areas. To see how to do this in code, let's make a square. Remember, these coordinates are supposed to be latitude and longitude, so this is not actually a square. We can use the projection trick from before. This time we transform from lat lon, that is WGS84, into a flat projection. There are many to choose from. This one is the Albers equal area projection we showed before and requires a couple of parameters to define. After applying the transformation, we have a new shape whose area should be equal to the area of the patch of the globe. The answer is the large number shown. One degree of latitude and longitude near the equator is around 111 kilometers, so one square degree is actually pretty big, measured in meters squared. A much easier way to do this is to use the GOD module in PyProj, which solves exactly this problem of computing areas on the globe, and we get the perimeter for free. Notice that the areas aren't exactly equal. Some of the details of the projection operation in the GOD function are different, but percentage-wise it's a tiny difference. In practice, of course, you should just go with the simpler approach, but it's good to know what's going on inside the black box.